guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Kila Jukic here. And today I have a very special video. I haven't talked about it too much in real time. I think in either my last vlog or the one before that, I briefly started touching on, you know, my husband and I's fertility journey in real time. This has been going on behind the scenes of our life for the last two years. And I didn't know if I was ever going to share it, if I was ever going to talk about it. But my husband and I decided, you know, it's been two years. It's it's definitely something that needs to be talked about because we have felt personally so friggin alone and although I have like a small little channel I have you know a small following on social media I want to be that person for people because I personally have felt so alone I still haven't caught you guys up on everything because again it's been two years so there's a lot of footage that I've taken and I need to put together for you guys but I just released episode three of our infertility journey I will link that up above if you haven't watched it that's probably the most important video that goes over our diagnosis why we were recommended IVF and all of that stuff it's probably the most like vulnerable video I'll ever put on the internet so definitely check that out because I feel like watching those videos will make more sense now. Future Kayla here I'm just editing this video. If you watched the video of our diagnosis just briefly it is male factor infertility. I, f I thought I said this in this video but I didn't and I just want to reiterate that although that like this is my husband it still reflects me like I'm okay there's nothing wrong with me per se but it's very important for me I'm still 50% of us having a baby so I want to make sure my eating is good my workouts are good and that I feel my best in order to have a baby so that's kind of why I'm still talking about trying to conceive because it, like I'm still 50% like I don't even feel like I need to explain this but I feel like some people might say like oh if it's your husband like why are you doing all of these things and it's because I'm still 50% of us having a baby regardless who is it the infertile one or whoever has the issue right so yeah just wanted to say that even though again i probably don't need to explain myself but now that i've got like our diagnosis out in the world because i feel like that's what people were most curious about it's easier for me now to talk about it in real time because everything will make a little bit more sense sorry for blabbing on a little bit i just it's been a lot to catch you guys up on so for today we are going to do a what i eat in a day while trying to conceive fertility foods and just talk about all of that good stuff. Today we're obviously going to be spending a lot of time in my kitchen but first thing this morning I'm going to be having my beef bone broth. If you watch any of my other vlogs you definitely know I have been incorporating this for at least like a month now. Every single morning I do it on an empty stomach to break my fast. Now this is not necessarily just for fertility. This is I'm having this for a few reasons. One is for fertility purposes which I'll talk about in a second but two just for overall gut health inflammation you guys know I have ulcerative colitis or if you're new maybe you don't know that we're also in fall now and the cold weather is coming so I am just like trying to prepare my body because I don't want to get sick at all bone broth is really good because it's high in protein again it's good for your gut it's good for your skin your nails your hair it has collagen so it's really good for you now in terms of like the fertility aspect of it a lot of like Chinese herbal medicine talks really highly about bone broth again Again, this is just from my own personal knowledge and research. A lot of herbal and Chinese medicine recommends one cup daily to help improve the ability to conceive. They also believe that bone broth helps support, again, like I said, your gut, but just overall deeper aspects of your body, including immunity, which I kind of already talked about. And they believe it strengthens that outer layer that protects kind of like what goes in and out of your body. So like the chemicals, the toxins, that type of stuff. I don't want to talk about it too, too much, but I've been really enjoying drinking it. I've been feeling better. My skin's been clearer. My stomach issues have been better. So overall, I'm, this is something that I'm going to continue doing every single morning. I just use the one from Organica. They're a Canadian based brand, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, cheers to that. I'm going to finish this and then we're going to go hit a light workout. I'll show you guys the full fit in a second. I just quickly want to talk about cycle syncing because I did start doing this about a month ago. Again, nobody told me to do this. My doctor didn't tell me to do this. It's something that I've researched and I just wanted to give it a try. So cycle syncing is pretty much like 
doing things based on where you are in your cycle so between your diet and your working out so right now i am currently in my follicular phase it kind of overlaps your menstrual cycle follicular phase is from day one to when you ovulate but if you want to just say it's from when your menstrual cycle ends to you ovulate i guess that's like the most important time because it's about like a nine day span in this phase energy starts to increase obviously because you're not you know bleeding anymore so during this phase it's really good to do like strength training cardio um dance classes hit workouts that type of stuff so today i'm actually gonna do a strength training workout i haven't been to the gym in like a week so i'm gonna do a full body workout and then i'm going to end the workout off with 10 minutes on the elliptical and do a little bit of cardio cycle syncing has a lot of I don't know how what the word is that I'm looking for but a lot of people really like it and believe in it and on the other hand a lot of people think it's just like a load of crap again I've only been doing it for one month so I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about it yet but I will say that I've had a little bit more energy and I think it's just overall I'm not stressing myself as much in the gym so that's just where I am currently I mean in more videos if this is something you guys want me to talk about I can so just let me know but so like I said I'm gonna do a light strength training workout outfit is from muscle nation I'm doing a, can you tell it's like a dark purple maybe the light it looks a lot darker with these I believe it's called Maldives the color so nice with my new Nikes hairs up I'm gonna grab my airpods and let's go to the gym All right, here is my breakfast. I am absolutely starving. So we're having two scrambled eggs, two pieces of turkey bacon, and a kiwi. Now eggs are good for not just fertility, for everyday health, but they're really good, especially for fertility because they're packed with protein. They have vitamin E, vitamin B12. And if you know anything about B12, it's AKA folic acid. Folic acid's really important for like the vital growth of your baby's spine, brain, skull, those types of things. If you're trying to conceive your doctor likely will tell you to take some sort of supplement with folic acid then of course turkey bacon is really good because it is just more protein in my meal and then kiwis are good too obviously it's a fruit it's packed with micronutrients but it does also have vitamin e which is actually really good for men's fertility so for sperm sperm motility that type of stuff but it's also good for women's reproductive system so i like having a kiwi every morning i'm a pretty boring eater and honestly this has been pretty much my breakfast for at least a month now like i like to fixate on things and these are things that i like and i don't get sick of them so i'm gonna keep eating them right now it is 1 40 and we're gonna make some lunch obviously nutrition overall is important to be healthy every single day but even more so when you're trying to conceive because when you think about it so right now i'm in my follicular phase so what that means is the follicle which is eventually going to turn into an egg is developing in my ovary right now so it is very important that my diet supports that right like i'm giving myself the nutrients and food that i need to help develop that follicle into the best follicle and egg it can be so that's why during your follicular phase things like leafy greens are really important so i'm gonna be making a big salad when you think leafy greens you think of like kale broccoli that type of stuff so i'm gonna be having this kale salad it just has some pumpkin seeds as well as cranberries and like brussels sprouts personally for me i love these like bagged salad kits because it makes everything so easy again i'm gonna talk about it a little bit later but seed cycling is something i've been doing the last month also and pumpkin seeds during your follicular phase are really good and this salad comes with pumpkin seeds and like i said cranberries so I'm going to put that on it comes with a poppy seed dressing so i'm just gonna 
put that on top as well. And then for protein, I have some leftover rotisserie chicken. So I just warmed that up. Ooh, it's hot and I'm gonna throw it on top. And that's my lunch for today, a big chicken salad. Dinner is served. So I love making this meal because the chicken and rice is like a one pot oven type of thing. So it's super easy to make. And then I just have a side of roasted broccoli, which is also really good for, you know, this time of the month because it's a leafy green, but very well balanced. I got the carbs from the jasmine rice, protein from the chicken. And then again, the broccoli is the micronutrients. Post dinner and it is time to take our prenatals. So I told you guys in one of the infertility videos that we use bird and bees. This one is for males this one is for females both of them are with coq10 so this one i'm gonna give to alan and then this one is for myself we take it every single day right after dinner i'm gonna bring it to the other room because that's where alan is he just has baseball on so i want to be in here while i'm talking but just a few things i kind of want to go over that are in the supplements we take so mine is the power prenatal for females again it has the coq10 boost in each pack there is seven capsules so there is seven pills you can see right there there's two green one clear two red and then also two white ones so just gonna name off some of the i feel like most important things so we have again coq10 we have vitamin e we have l-carnitine there's algae oil in it iron folate which is the folic acid that i was talking about earlier and then honestly so many different vitamins b6 B12, C, D3, like the list just goes on and on. This is a really high quality prenatal. That's why we like to use it, but it definitely is a little bit more on the expensive end. Basically every month, I think between the both of us, I'm spending like almost $150 on the supplements so it is definitely quite expensive. You can find more affordable options, but for me, I think this is worth it because this is gonna make both of us healthier as well as our baby eventually. So yeah, we're gonna go take that with water right now. Actually, the other thing before I forget, sometimes I do forget this, pretty much 95% of the time I don't. We also do take Brazil nuts. I actually showed this in a couple of vlogs ago. I restocked from Amazon. So we're gonna take these now at the same time as our prenatals. So Brazil nuts are really good for fertility, specifically for men because it's really good for sperm, motility, that type of stuff. But it is really good for women Women all for other reasons so we take two Brazil nuts a day specifically for men especially men that are experiencing like male factor infertility Brazil nuts are good to add in because like I said they're good for sperm but it's because what's in the Brazil nut one of the main things is selenium and again that just really helps with the count and the motility and that type of stuff I just get it off of Amazon the company is called Elan and I get this organic one the pack is 185 grams and I think it's like $6.99. Ending the night off right now, it is 9.41 and I'm having a little bedtime snack, English muffin with some butter. I just made a chamomile tea with some honey inside and I literally have like one or two chapters left of The Housemaid. I think literally I have like 15 pages left. So I'm gonna bring this all to bed, finish this, eat this, drink this, and get some sleep. Your girl is very tired. I'm already in my pajamas and I'm ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like i'm gonna start doing more of them or these types of videos since i'm talking about you know our infertility journey in more real time now and i'm sorry the lighting is terrible right now but if you guys don't want to miss any of the future videos make sure to subscribe to me down below give this one a big thumbs up so it lets me know that you like it and i will catch you guys in the next one good night